there. Uh, I've got a few poems, well, I've got two poems for you today um, in honour of International Workers' Day. As a waitress, these poems pretty much just feature some of the moans and groans I've picked up over the years working in the hospitality sector. So as such, I'm just going to say, because there are some children in the audience, there are a few swear words in these, because that's just what happens when you've been a waitress for as long as I have. That's just what happens to you, I'm afraid. Um, so the first one that I've got for you is entirely composed of messages that other people have sent me anonymously, having worked in the same sector as I'm working in today. And so for that reason, I call it the collective grievance poem. <laughs> All of us are in until close, no break, not being fed. Literally the busiest shift I've ever done, pure shattered, ready for my bed. Still, no one has properly posted my rota. I don't have the patience for this shit. It's fucking brutal, man. I can't be arsed. I really wanna quit. So I've spent 15 pounds just to get to my work. How fucking stinking is that? And then they sent me home an hour early. So I was like, fuck that. Someone in work just asked why I don't have a boyfriend. Fuck all to do with you. Fucking getting so wound up and I'm not even nearly halfway through. I really wanted to say everything, but I didn't want to bring it up. I welled up and I started getting teary shut the fuck up. Had so much to say, but just held it all in. I didn't want to make a big deal. Taking it on the chin, I'm so sick of the word capitalism, the accumulation of material wealth. I didn't want to make a big deal and make it worse for myself. I had so much to say. Get in the fucking bin. I really wanted to say everything, but just held it all in. Thank you. This next one's just a wee bit more lighthearted for you, and it's actually just, um, it's not got a title, it's a story about a rotten shift. Just an absolutely rotten shift. It's 4am, I'm tired, this shit is a blur And I hear the wee lassie in front of me slur My feet fucking hurt And I think, me too, as she wobbles and stumbles Then takes off her shoes before asking me Any BBQ sauce? A couple would be fab if you could Only she slurs it so badly that I've not understood And with weary eyes I look at her confused And the lass behind her gives me a sympathetic smile Because she works in the pub And although she's been done a while The blisters on her feet are still displeased That she's standing in a queue to buy herself a feast After a bloody long night pouring pints for a sea of sleaze Yes, young barmaid and I lock eyes And shake our heads, although not in surprise As Johnny the big man skips her in the queue Yes, we we can certainly tell that he's had a few. He's got his glad rags on. He says, doll, my taxi's nearly here. This line's too fucking long. I say, I'm sorry to hear that, but you'll have to wait. He storms off shouting, ridiculous, rejoins his steaming mates at the back of the queue. Yes, Johnny, the big man, has had more than a few. And I... I feel like a sticky, sweaty, icky, smelly mess serving guys and gals once dressed to impress but now their glad rags are covered in dregs of their Friday night. Aye, you've sussed it. That's right, I'm on the night shift at McDonald's. Thank you.